फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल सो टुडे इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू एंड आल्सो डिराइव द एक्सप्रेशन फॉर जनरलाइज्ड फोर्सेस ओके बट बिफोर वाचिंग दिस वीडियो प्लीज वॉच माई वीडियोज ऑन वर्चुअल डिसप्लेसमेंट जनरलाइज्ड कोऑर्डिनेट्स डी एल एम्बर्ट्स प्रिंसिपल बिकॉज विदाउट हैविंग द नॉलेज ऑफ दीज दीज थिंग्स यू विल फाइंड इट डिफिकल्टी इन अंडरस्टैंडिंग द जनरलाइज फोर्सेज सो बट इफ यू आर ऑलरेडी द स्टूडेंट ऑफ फिजिक्स एंड आर अवेयर ऑफ द बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट देन अफकोर्स यू विल नॉट फील एनी प्रॉब्लम सो लेट्स कंटिन्यू ओके सो our topic is is generalized forces okay so consider the n particle system okay so here i have drawn the n particle system for you in the three dimensional space so, so the number of particles in n particle system is n and here you can see the particles the first particle second particle ith particle in this way there are n particles okay and this and this is the position vector of ith particle in the system now we know that now we know that the virtual displacement of ith particle is given by so this is the virtual displacement of ith particle so i have i as i told i have already explained about the virtual displacement so please refer to my previous videos okay for the explanation okay so this is the virtual displacement by equation 1 okay in this uh, expression uh, k runs from k equals to 1 to k to k equals to n where the n is the number of generalized coordinates so k run from k equals to 1 up to k equals to n here i stands for ith particle okay so i stands for ith particle and i can go from i can go from 1 to up to n number of particles okay now uh, uh, but uh, we have to do now we have to use the d l numbers principle so the d l numbers principle is written here okay so this equation is called the d l numbers principle as already told if you are unaware of d l numbers principle please uh, go back to my um, previous video on d l numbers principle and then you can easily uh, come at this point okay so uh, this is the d l numbers principle uh, here this indicates the force on ith particle this is the reverse effective force on the ith particle and this is the virtual displacement okay now uh, what will happen uh, what will happen in the next step is that this delta ri will multiply with the force and the momentum derivative of the momentum okay so let me make it clear okay so it here follows the distributive law okay so we get we will we will get this uh, expression okay now in this uh, whole expression uh, we have to think especially about this term okay so this that term is uh, written here okay okay so now uh, we, what we can see from this expression is that if i put the value of delta ri that means the value of virtual displacement from equation number 1 so you can see the virtual displacement here okay so this is the equation number 1 which defines the virtual displacement okay and i have plugged the value of virtual displacement okay here okay now but i have done i have just rearranged uh, this equation a little bit and you can see that we can easily bring the this equation to this form okay now in this equation uh, we can uh, especially uh, isolate this part okay and read it and write it separately like this okay now 
in this whole expression this part is uh, has given a separate name that is the gk okay and that has the some special meaning that has the special meaning okay so you can easily see that we have put gk equals to this much quantity okay so what this quantity actually is let's see okay now first what i am going to do is that i am going to simplify this uh, expression okay so here i have written the value of the force vector okay okay and then uh, i have written the value of this ri vector here okay and then what i can do i can just um, distribute the operator del over del qk inside it and you will get this expression okay now uh, here you can see that there here is the dot product between the forces and the derivative of the displacement okay and we will we can easily find the dot product okay so let's go to the next page now here i have taken the dot product so this is the this here the dot product has been completed okay now the quantity here you can see the quantity gk where k runs from k equals to 1 to k equals to n where n is the number of generalized coordinate okay so gk g subscript k are called component of generalized forces generalized force associated with the generalized coordinate qk so you can see that okay so gk are the component so gk are the component of the generalized forces okay of the generalized force in the uh, associated with the generalized coordinate qk okay okay so i hope friends uh, you have understood uh, the generalized forces here okay so uh, at this point i would like to tell you that um, in gk so gk will constitute the or total uh, generalized force if you uh, put the value of k from k equals to 1 up to k up to n means number of generalized coordinates and then you will get all the components of the generalized forces uh, associated with all the um, uh, generalized coordinates okay friends i hope this video is uh, will be useful to you okay so friends uh, thank you very much and if you like this video please share with your friends uh, and uh, share with your friends okay okay friends thank you very much